Okay, so grab the Canic, the TP9 magazine. Okay, give me five shots. Pay attention to the sights. Those sights are a lot different than the Glock sights, and they're a lot different than the uh, the uh, 40 sights. The brace shot. Give me five. Keep in mind, you don't have to shoot so fast. Look into your sight. Look at overzealous. That's how you miss. This is how you hit. That's how you hit the next door neighbor. Bad guy, get away. This is a perfect shot right here. This is a perfect one. So one, two, three, four. We don't know where to fit. Give me five more. Pay attention. Hold on. Okay, give me five more. Your right hand is so grab it with your right hand. Okay, look at the sights first. And get a firm. If the white dot is not directly in the middle, where that white dot is at. Attention. Shoot the gun out of his hands. Identify the five shots that you just took. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, take that down. We're going to go with the SFX now. Right here. Federal munitions. Oh, and I prefer gold dot. I prefer streak, but since we're at the range, we're not going to use um, we're not going to use the hollows. Um, right now, we're going to use the uh, Fiocchi's or we're going to use the Magtex. But um, he'll be firing. The Canic TP9 SFX. One of my favorite. One of my favorite pieces. The serrations and everything, everything about this. I don't know how clear it's coming in on camera. Everything about this, this baby is um, outstanding. Um, the two candy registers that we see now, the SFX and the DA, they will both fire without a magazine. So be extremely careful. Um, we'll go back to the DA where I'll show you the decocking mechanism. So you can see a very, very it's about five pounds, five pounds of pressure. It's about five pounds of pressure right there. Um, give me a second. We're going to uh, get rid of these. Put some of these in. And then get right back to you. Here's an 18 plus 2. You put it directly on top of the other one, push it back. There you go. Nothing pre shot or nothing like that. So, what you're going to see is what you get. Keep your finger off of the trigger. 
Away from each other. Okay, let me see your gun. Don't point it at me though. Canon TP9 SFX. Let me see your, let me see your stance. Hold it. Pay attention to the sights. Get used to the sights. You don't have to be overzealous to fire yet. Good. No, no, keep keep it there. Give me five shots. Okay, that went into the hand. I see it. That gotta hurt. That gotta hurt. That gotta hurt. So, so, so you missed one. So I see four shots here. Pay attention to your sights. Get used to them. Give me another five. Stop trying to don't shoot fast. Shoot accurately. Stop letting it bounce. Pay attention to your sights. Okay, good. You got another shot in the ear. I don't know why you keep aiming left, but his ear is over with. <laughs> but what are you missing? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, eight. That is eight. Eight right here. So there's two missing. Not bad. This right here is not too much. To judge you or anything like that, what we're doing, we're trying to figure out what what firearm is going to be most beneficial to you to use when you're going for your um, disability. Take that down. So now we'll probably be going on. Um, I block that. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorite firearms. Lock 19 Gen 5. One of my favorite. Just like everybody else, I pretty much hate Glock sights. But I can deal with it. This little bad baby girl right here, she's part of the Glocks and Roses uh, collection. I will not be using these at the range though. Uh, definitely won't be using this um, This ammo. It's pretty damn expensive. It's the 40 ammo. 